Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. The sun is shining, the skies are blue, and I am so ready, <laughs> this doesn't rhyme, and I am so ready to get into today's yoga class, which is a yoga flow to help you improve your posture. Now this isn't just do it once and you know, your posture is perfect. This is something that um, takes a little bit of maintenance. Maybe this is a flow. It isn't a long flow. Maybe it's something that you can do a couple of times a week. And by that repetition and practice and patience, you will start to see an improvement. So it's perfect if you're an office worker, if you're working from home at the moment, you're hunched over a desk or hunched over a computer. We're gonna help to relieve stiffness, tightness, pain from the neck, shoulders, and the back. So grab your mat, grab blocks if you need them. As always, you can modify anything that you need to. This is your practice and let's find some peace and have some fun. As always, starting at the end of our mats in our Thunderbolt pose, just let the hands rest onto the tops of the thighs. Allow the eyes to float closed. Inhale, draw a breath from the base of the spine all the way up to the crown of the head as you lengthen. Feel that inhale flow up through each vertebrae in the spine. And as you exhale, feel the breath flow from the crown of the head down to the tailbone. As we begin this class by becoming aware of the body's posture while seated here in this meditative position. Be aware of the upper back. Be aware of the shoulders maybe starting to improve that posture. Allow the breath to lengthen you as you inhale. Shoulders roll back and down, chest opens on that exhale. Let the mind just follow a few more breaths here. Setting an intention to stay connected to that flow of breath, to allow the breath to guide you through each pose to take you deeper on the exhale. On your next exhale, let the hands come to the tops of the knees as you round the spine, draw the chin to the chest and spread the shoulder blades away from each other. The inhale draws the hands up the thighs, roll the shoulders back and down and pull the shoulder blades towards each other. We're just moving with the breath, find two more exhales around the spine, hands to the knees, chin to the chest. Inhale, draw the hands up the thighs, open the chest. Good, last one, exhale, round the spine. This time pause with the hands on the tops of the knees and lean back. So hold the knees and start to pull the body backwards to feel a release through the upper back, the back of the neck. And that inhale takes you forward again. This time maybe the head drops back. Release the chin from the chest. So then gaze up towards the ceiling. Releasing all the way down to Balasana. Let the arms rest either side of the body. Belly falls to the thighs. Forehead rests on the mat. Just give a moment to allow the shoulders to round. Allow the spine to become neutral. Take a couple of breaths, feeling the rise and fall of the belly against the thighs. And then bringing fingertips underneath the shoulders. Tuck the toes underneath so the hips distance apart and roll all the way up into ragdoll. Find the elbows, let the crown of the head drop. Nice soft bend into the knees. Maybe some gentle movements from left to right. Interlacing the fingers behind the back, starting to open up into the shoulders. Allow the arms to drop back and don't worry if you're really tight in the shoulders and those hands are resting on the back, that's fine. Just accepting whatever your body is today. Know that with practice, patience and time, you will start to see that progress. And if you want to feel a deeper stretch into the shoulders, draw the palms of the hands together rather than opening them up. 
take a few more breaths here, you can find movement still if you wish. Turning your breath into the upper body, into the shoulders. And then release the hands, inhale halfway, lengthen through the spine, either hands to the shins, fingertips or palms to the mat. Draw the chest, draw the belly forward. And then walk those hands all the way back out into plank, shoulders over the wrists. Slow and controlled as you exhale, we're coming down onto the belly. Hands stay underneath the shoulders. Release the toes. Inhale as we lift into baby cobra. Keep the hands off the mat if you can and just allow the strength of the back to lift you. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift. Rolling the shoulders back and down. Keep that chest nice and open. Exhale to lower. Last one. Inhale to lift. Keep drawing that chest forward and then exhale to lower. Hands underneath the shoulders, round back to child's pose, open the knees to the edges of the mat, sink all the way down to the heels. Uh, take a couple more breaths here and try and stay nice and active in this child's pose so the elbows are lifted and just the palms are resting on the mat. Inhale, come through to tabletop. Knees coming underneath the hips. Tuck the toes underneath. Exhale, press all the way back into downward facing dog. Good, find three breaths in that downward facing dog, working to melt the chest forwards towards the thighs and draw the heels down towards the earth. Inhale, right leg lifts, three-legged dog, keep the hips nice and square. You should be feeling a deep stretch into that left hamstring. Slow and with control, float shoulders over the wrist as you step the right foot between the hands. Keep a nice long stance here, hips square, toes tucked underneath. As you lift up, interlace the fingers behind the back. And start to open the chest as you sink down, drawing the arms away from the body. We're going to hold for a couple of breaths here, stay nice and strong. So make sure you're opening from the upper back, not the lower. Maybe the head drops back and the gaze lifts. Keep straightening out that left knee. Hold for three, two, and one, good, release the hands to the mat. Step back to your plank. Slow and controlled, exhale down all the way to the mat. This time, fingers are gonna interlace behind the back and draw the feet together, point the toes away, engaging into the legs. Forehead rests down and just start to draw those arms away from the body. See how high you can lift them. Still drawing the palms of the hands together. Legs stay down and just inhale, lift the chest and the shoulders and you can stop at any point. Maybe you're keeping the head down. Using the strength of the back to keep you lifted. Engaging the glutes, maybe you can start to lift the legs. Taking it into locust pose, into our shalabhasana. Find three breaths here, stay nice and strong. Keep opening a little bit more into the upper back. Draw the shoulders back and down, keep drawing the hands away. And then exhale to release all the way down. Hands come underneath the shoulders, press back to child's pose. Knees open, sink all the way down. Forehead comes to the mat. Stay nice and active through the arms. Take a few more deep breaths here. Then inhale, come back through to tabletop. 
Tuck the toes underneath, inhale, exhale, downward facing dog. We're switching sides, inhale, left leg lifts, three-legged dog. Keep the hips nice and square, flex into the left foot. Should be feeling that now through the right hamstring. Slow and with control, step the left foot forward between the hands. Inhale, rise all the way up, interlace the fingers. Roll the shoulders back and down. Open that chest in a nice deep stance. You should be feeling it into the hips, into the upper back and the shoulders. So draw the arms away from the body as you lift the chest up. Stay here and keep breathing. Maybe the gaze starts to lift. Hold it for three, two, and one. Hands come down to the mat, stepping back to plank. Exhale as we lower all the way down to the belly. Good, releasing here. I'm going to give you a few options here. So either taking hold of the fronts of the ankles, you can keep the forehead down, and you can keep the thighs down, just hold it here. If that's too much, just try one leg at a time. And then you can use the hand for support as you lift the chest. We're going to take it up into our bow pose, into our Danyarasana. As we inhale, just try lifting the chest and lifting the shoulders first. You can keep the thighs down. If you feel comfortable here, start to press the soles of the feet up towards the ceiling. Drawing the knees towards each other, the thighs lifting off the mat. We're balancing on the navel, on the belly button. Good, keep the gaze nice and high. So open through the chest, find three breaths here. Feel that opening through the shoulders, through the upper back. And then exhale to release. Good, hands come underneath the shoulders. We're pressing back to tabletop. Hips stay stacked over the knees. Slide those arms all the way forward. Let the forehead come to the mat. Stay lifted through the arms and keep the elbows off the mat, just the palms down. One step further, lift the forehead and drop the chin to the mat just to get a deeper stretch. One of my favorite poses for posture, our puppy pose. And slowly lifting into the chest. Just start to walk those hands underneath the shoulders. Exhale to round through the spine. Draw the chin to the chest. Draw the tailbone in. And maybe start to gently wiggle those hips from left to right. Just bring the legs together. And find yourself back in a thunderbolt pose. I'm going to come this way so that you can see me a little bit better. And we're just going to finish with a nice stretch for the neck. So interlace the fingers together behind the back. Inhale, roll the shoulders back and down. Allow the chest to lift. And then take the hands to the right side of the body. See if you can rest the back of the left hand onto the right hip. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, draw the right ear to the right shoulder. And you can close the eyes, keep that awareness inwards. You should be feeling a really nice stretch all the way through the left side of the neck. Allow this stretch to move into a different area of the neck. As you look down towards the mat, draw the chin in towards the right shoulder. And gently bring the head all the way back to centre, switch sides. Take the back of the right hand to the left hip, inhale to lengthen. Exhale, take the left ear to the left shoulder. And then 
again, letting that stretch move round into a different area of the neck. Draw the gaze down towards the mat. Pull the chin in towards the left shoulder. all the way back to center this time bring the hands round interlace the fingers again take the palms to the back of the head let the elbows point down to the thighs let the chin drop into the chest so we should be feeling a lovely stretch into the upper back in the back of the neck let the chin tilt to the right and just hold it here and then keep that gentle pressure and let that chin roll round to the left. And bring the chin back to centre. This time keep the hands on the head. Inhale to roll all the way up. We're going to press the head into the hands. So try and open into the upper back. Let the gaze be high. Try and draw the elbows out of your line of vision. Maybe the eyes can close and use the breath. Inhale to grow tall. Exhale to press the head into the hands and open that chest a little bit more. Enjoy this stretch. Feel any stress, any tension releasing from the upper body. And I welcome you to take a little side bend here. Inhale, grow tall, exhale to the right. And as you lean to the right, keep the left elbow pressed back. Stay nice and open. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale to the left. Keep the right elbow pressing back, the chest nice and open. all the way back to center keep the fingers interlaced inhale reach all the way up and as you reach the arms up try and draw them back towards the ears one more big inhale reach higher send energy up through the palms and then exhale as you release the hands and circle them all the way around feel a stretch through the shoulders as you slowly bring them down hands come to the heart center Take a moment to connect back to the breath. That inhale lengthens the spine. That exhale rolls the shoulders back and down. Just take a moment to find gratitude for arriving on your mat, for devoting this little bit of time to both the body and the mind. Bowing the head to the heart. Namaste.